Jason, an aboriginal teenager, and his older brother Daryl are heavily involved with an inner city gang and they live with their little brother Ricky. Jason is a contradiction. Although capable of acts of violence, he also has a sense of responsibility. His efforts to shelter Ricky from the gang activities are evidence of this. One day, Jason's life is suddenly turned around when his best friend Eric is shot in a drive-by. Eric dies in Jason's arms. Luther, the gang leader, decides Jason must avenge Eric's death. When Jason is about to kill the murderer, he sees his target with a little boy, reminding him of Ricky. His conscience stops him, and he can't pull the trigger. Rushing home, Jason has an epiphany, escape the gang and take his brother with him, and they seek refuge across town with an aunt. When Luther discovers that Jason has disappeared, he is furious. He threatens Daryl that unless he finds his brother, he will suffer the consequences. Through his aunt, Jason connects with an addictions counselor, who was once a gang leader. He tells Jason, There are three ways to get out of a gang. Go to jail, get killed, or get help. Jason agrees and attends an alternative school. There he meets Jen, who connects him with Aboriginal spirituality, and where he develops his artistic talents. However, Jason has trouble adjusting. His recurring nightmares of the gang and his battle with his addictions cause him to relapse. He gets wasted and ends up in the drunk tank. Jason has a breakdown and confesses to Marshall his feelings of guilt for all the people he's hurt. He explains to Ricky why their lives have to change and his relationship with Jen grows, as does his hope for a new life. His brother Daryl and the gang eventually find him. They beat him up and are about to abduct him, but he manages to escape. Luther then puts a price on Jason's head. Jason agrees to relocate and enter a safe house and to cooperate with the police. Jason is saying goodbye to Jen when Daryl and Luther suddenly show up. Daryl pulls his gun on Jason. Jason informs Daryl that the police have given him information. It was Luther who ordered the hit on his best friend Eric. Luther pulls out his gun. Jason lunges for it as it goes off, killing Daryl just as the police arrive. Jason cradles Daryl, comforting him in his dying moments. In the epilogue, Jason is making a difference and talking to a group of high school students. There are three ways to get out of a gang. Go to jail, get killed, or get help. 